Turkey. There's really no easy way to describe this country. It really is a fusion of both the East and the West, as well as both the old and the new. In this video, we're listing out what you can't miss when you're in Istanbul. Although it isn't the capital city of Turkey, Istanbul is one of its most popular tourist destinations due to its position as an ancient trading port and the seat of the Ottoman Empire, which ruled Southeast Europe, Western Asia, and Northern Africa from the 14th to 20th centuries. Stay on and you'll find out one of Istanbul's most mysterious underground attractions too. Here are our topics for the best things to do. Visit the Topkapi Palace Museum This large palace complex was the original seat of power for the Ottoman sultans. Construction of this palace began in 1459, and in the following centuries, more buildings and complexes were added by subsequent sultans. Currently, Topkapi is made up of four courts as well as the imperial treasury and the harem. It's best to set aside one entire day just for the Topkapi Palace as this attraction is extremely large. There are literally hundreds of rooms and chambers to explore here where you can see Ottoman collections of precious manuscripts, armor, weapons, jewelry, everyday items, and more. Not to be missed is the harem section where the wives and children of the Ottoman sultans lived in virtual seclusion from the outside world. You'll be able to enjoy the ornate marble, carvings, tile and murals here too, all representative artwork from the golden age of Istanbul. Savor traditional Turkish meals. One of the things you have to try when you're in Istanbul is its various traditional Turkish dishes. The best places to try local food are known as Esnaf Lokantasi or Lokantas, which are tradesman restaurants. They're so named because they serve healthy, quick, and affordable local food in a fuzz-free atmosphere. One genre of Turkish dishes you should order here are meze, which are small appetizers made with dairy, vegetables, and sometimes meat or seafood. They're small dishes that resemble Spanish tapas and are often eaten with alcohol. Some examples of meze available are merdeme koftesi or red lentil patties, faba bin puree, samphire salad, and muhammara, which is a dip made with roasted red peppers and walnuts. Go shopping at the Grand Bazaar. If you're hunting for some souvenirs to take home from your trip to Turkey, there's no better place to go than Istanbul's Grand Bazaar. This ancient bazaar was built in the 1640s, making it one of the oldest and biggest covered bazaars in the world. It currently has more than 4,000 shops covering an area of 30,700 square meters, so make sure you wear comfortable shoes if you plan on shopping here. Additionally, you'll need to get into bargaining mode as prices are not fixed and how much you spend depends on your haggling skills. Some of the things you'll find here include carpets, shawls, Ottoman teas, handmade ceramics, glass lamps, traditional clothing, and much more. Go for a cruise on the Bosphorus Istanbul is located on the banks of a body of water known as the Bosphorus River. The good news is that you can book a leisurely cruise along the Bosphorus for a pretty affordable price. The Bosphorus divide eastern and western Turkey, and you can take a cruise towards the north, which is heading towards the Black Sea. Cruises leave the Eminunu docks on a daily basis. Make sure you book your trips earlier from trustable cruise agents to get a good deal and not to be overcharged. Cruises can last a few hours or a full day, with stops along the way for lunch and interesting sights. If cruises are beyond your budget, you can just get a commuter ferry from Eminunu to Kadikoy and back. This won't cost you more than two U.S. dollars for a return trip. Experience the Hagia Sophia The Hagia Sophia is one of the historic buildings in Istanbul that represents the city's history the best. Originally, it was constructed as a church in the early 6th century AD by the Eastern Roman Empire when Istanbul was still known as Constantinople. When Constantinople fell to the Ottomans in the 1450s, this building was turned into a mosque. Traces of Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman architecture can be seen here. And it is an eclectic mix of historical styles and architecture. You'll see Roman columns, iconographic murals, and stained glass windows side by side with Muslim calligraphy and Ottoman tiles. One of the most beautiful aspects of the Hagia Sophia has got to be its hanging candle chandeliers that show up beautifully in photographs. Appreciate history at the Istanbul Archaeology Museum. 
This museum is yet another spot you can't miss if you are in Istanbul. It showcases the rich history of Istanbul as it evolved throughout the centuries with influences from both Europe in the West and the Middle East. The museum is divided into three sections, all sharing the same garden. The three sections are the Archaeology Museum, the Museum of Ancient Orient, and the Tiled Kiosk Museum. All three sections showcase artifacts curated, collected, and located by famed Turkish archaeologist Osman Hamdi Bey. It has about a million artifacts, most of them artwork from Turkey and the region surrounding it. It includes ancient stone carvings and the most famous artifact here, the Alexander Sarcophagus, which is a carved stone sarcophagus believed to belong to a Sidonian king and portraying Alexander the Great. Stroll down Istiklal Street. Istiklal Street is located in an older part of Istanbul known as the Galata neighborhood. Istiklal is a lively area, especially at night, where you'll find many types of shops. It's the best place to walk down and find some authentic street food. Some of the street food here to try include durum, which are meat wraps, simit, a type of bread, and sweet Turkish pastries like baklava and kunefe. Another thing you can do in Istiklal is hop on an old historical tram, which has been in operation since the 19th century. If you're a fan of international brands, you also find some good shopping opportunities in the area with brands like Gap and Nike available. Take a bath at a Turkish hammam. A Turkish bath is known as a hammam, and there are many of them right here in Istanbul. Most hammams cater to both genders, with strictly separated areas and masseurs of the same gender. These Turkish baths used to be the social centers of the city where residents met to discuss business and everyday affairs. Women would even find suitable wives for their sons at these hammams by speaking to other women in the neighborhood. In a hammam, an attendant will be on hand to give you a massage and scrub complete with an exfoliation before you're allowed to rinse off. You'll also be able to experience hot saunas and steam baths here. Marvel at the Blue Mosque There are many mosques in Istanbul, and this is one of the oldest. The Blue Mosque is also known as the Sultan Ahmed Mosque and was built in the early 1600s by the Ottoman Sultan it is named after. The architecture of the mosque is an archetypical example of Turkish Ottoman styles and the reasons it's called the Blue Mosque is because there are about 20,000 hand-painted blue glazed styles decorating the interior of the mosque. Blue was one of the favorite colors of the Ottoman Empire, as you will see it in many of the historical buildings in Turkey built during the reign. The mosque has five main domes and eight secondary domes, each ornately decorated and bathed in natural light, making it a sight to behold. Explore the Basilica Cistern Underground One of the most mysterious historical attractions in Istanbul has got to be the Basilica Cisterns. To see it, you have to descend about 9 meters underground. It was built in the Roman era during the 6th century AD, as a water storage area for the Roman emperors to ensure that the supply of clean water to their palace never dried up. One of the things I noticed about the cistern is the large amount of intricately carved pillars holding the cavern up. This is because the pillars come from even older buildings in the city at that time and repurposed for this underground space more than 300 of them. Up to this day, you'll be able to see fish swimming in the basilica cistern's waters, there's a simple story behind this, which is to ensure that anyone who wished to poison this royal water source would have their plans revealed immediately if the fish died. To sum up, there are so many more attractions you can visit in Istanbul, which is a melting pot of both old and new, east and west. Don't forget to immerse yourself in the culture and rich history of the city as you explore.